Okay, Brent. All right. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. This is the $64,000 question. Um, has this year's election affected America's position abroad? If so, how? Um, yes, and negatively. Uh, look, uh, I've had a number of conversations with uh, foreign leaders over the past uh, three months, four months, uh, abroad and in the United States. And typically, I'm the journalist, and you go and you meet a head of state or head of government, and you say hi, and you ask them questions. Instead, the role is reversed, and the question always is some version of what the hell is going on over there? And uh, is Trump really going to win in uh, state X, Y, or Z because they're following it uh, minute for minute? Um, and it's as if uh, your old friend, the pillar of the community, the uh, bedrock of all charitable institutions, um, has suddenly decided that he really wanted to trip on LSD and um, uh, spend some time at the Esalen Institute or something like that. Uh, so that's really, there's a real anxiety abroad about what is happening to the US, whether Trump is a credible president, and whether the United States is gonna continue to fulfill the kind of function that it has, uh, at least for the past uh, 70 years, as the, um, not just the default biggest country, but a willing uh, leader on all of the major international questions. So I think there's a great deal of anxiety here. Um, and more interest than, I mean, I thought the 2008 election had more foreign interest than uh, any I could remember. I think that one now looks almost small in comparison to this, except in 08, it was a positive feeling, uh, not so much this time around. Mm, absolutely. All right. All right. So. Uh, okay, uh, this is a good question for you. Could yesterday's terrorist attack in Belgium have been prevented? <laughs> 